I'm ranking the top 250 individuals from the pre-colonial era to today what is now Canada and round number 53, Sir Sanford Fleming. Sanford Fleming was born in Scotland on January 7, 1827. At the age of 18, he moved to Canada to work as a surveyor. In 1849, he created the Royal Canadian Institute with some friends. In 1851, he designed the first Canadian postage stamp, the Three Penny Beaver. He worked for many years as a surveyor for the railroads, including the Northern Railway of Canada and the Grand Trunk Railway. He also served the 10th Battalion Volunteer Rifles of Canada, reaching the rank of captain in the early 1860s. He became the chief engineer for the Transcontinental Railway, where he surveyed a practical route through the Rocky Mountains at the Yellowhead Pass. He was eventually dismissed by the government when they decided to go with a different route. Nonetheless, he was on hand for the driving in of the last spike in 1885. Sir Sanford Fleming is most famous for the adoption of present-time meridians. This came about after he missed a train in 1876 in Ireland. He proposed a single 24-hour clock for the entire world, and he proposed 24 time zones each an hour wide or 15 degrees in longitude. He presented two papers on the topic in 1879 at the Canadian Institute. He also suggested a prime meridian with, with Greenwich as the meridian. He advocated for the system throughout the early 1880s before it was accepted by several countries in the late 1880s. By 1929, all major countries in the world were using time zones based off the system he devised. For 35 years, Fleming was the Chancellor of Queen's University. He also advocated for a submarine telegraph cable connecting the entire British Empire, which was completed in 1902. In 1897, he was knighted by Queen Victoria. He died on July 22, 1915. Mount Sir Sanford is named for him, as is Sanford Island and Fleming Island in British Columbia, and several buildings are also named for him. If you enjoy Canadian history, then check out my podcast, Canadian History X, available on all podcast platforms.